I, I am very optimistic. I was optimistic when he was elected. Uh, and I'm still optimistic. But uh, every president, no matter how he campaigned, has to have his feet kept to the fire. Uh, but the other thing that we need to be mindful of is he's got all inspiring issues before him. Um, the uh, Finance Committee of the Senate just passed the uh, health care bill. And there's, it's still got a long ways to go, but that would be a landmark achievement. So many presidents, from Teddy Roosevelt on, have attempted to, uh, to uh, get a health care uh, bill passed. And if President Obama should succeed, and it's not a certain thing yet, that would be in itself a huge uh, achievement. And at the same time, he's got uh, domestically this skyrocketing <coughs> unemployment uh, uh, challenge. I mean, it's, it's really gut-wrenching, the, the kind of pain so many people are suffering, losing their job, what it does to the psyche not to be able to uh, uh, feed your children, not to be able to pay the mortgage, all these foreclosures that have been happening, people losing their homes, I mean, that is devastating. And he's got to deal with that. Our, our uh, economy is an awesome problem. And uh, it's not going to uh, change overnight. Uh, in Cal, you know, the national unemployment rate is 9.8%, which is, you know, millions of people. And in California, our unemployment rate is 12.2, much, much more than the national average. Uh, so to wrestle with that is a full-time uh, engagement. Uh, the uh, the uh, 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 banking, the uh, automobile, you know, all the entire economy. And in terms of foreign policy, we have two wars going and uh, one uh, unofficial war going on in Pakistan. You know, uh, and the uh, war in Afghanistan is not looking good at this point. And there's a, a lot of uh, challenges involved there. Uh, so I think a president has to do the doable, to prioritize and get you know, the most important issues that, are the, uh, that affect the, most, the greatest number of Americans. But, uh, the uh, two issues that you cite, uh, one of them, the don't ask, don't tell, is one that affects all Americans. Because, for example, we live in a time of very uh, great challenge to our national security. And absolutely essential to our national security is good intelligence. In our military intelligence service, we have outstanding linguists who are fluent in Arabic, a vital uh, language to have uh, quality, reliable, solid <coughs> intelligence. And yet, when the, our uh, Arabic-speaking intelligence officers are found to be uh, gay or lesbians, they're fired. They're let go. And our, uh, our national security <coughs> is therefore diminished. We're getting a lower quality uh, national security, which affects all of our so that's not just a GLBT issue. It's an issue that is important for all of America. And you know, we have those that are serving in the, the, the front line heroically, uh, with great power, uh, with great honor, uh, who are found to be uh, gay or lesbians. And they're let go. And at a time when we need manpower in, in our military, we're letting outstanding soldiers go. And on the other hand, uh, because we have a shortage, uh, where uh, we've lowered our military recruitment st standards, where we're accepting people with criminal backgrounds, criminal records. What sense does that make? Our national security is uh, degraded by the don't ask, don't tell. Policy. And that is the first issue that uh, 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 President Obama has to address because it is putting all of us, all Americans, in danger. Uh, and uh, 
the marriage equality uh, issue. I think uh, uh, the team of uh, Ted Olson and uh, uh, David Boyce uh, will ultimately prevail. Uh, it's there in the Constitution. And uh, then it will be not just a state issue, but something that's going to be enforced throughout the country by, uh, in the same way that uh, the uh, uh, civil rights issue was won. There are some states that are going to have to uh, get brought into uh, equality with their heels dug in, screaming and yelling. But our Constitution, our Constitution that my father believed in, despite the fact that it failed us for four years, and it, that will ultimately prevail. So thank you very much for that question. Another question.